to another vlog. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now. I got in so late last night. I went to bed honestly at like 2.30. My sleep schedule has been so messed up. So this week I'm really gonna try to get back on track. I am currently in Los Angeles for a week. And if you're new here, when I say I'm in LA for work, it means I'm in office for my brand that I own, Dairy Boy. We recently opened an office in LA, so I have to be here, especially right now, sort of a lot. Been a lot of traveling recently. It kind of hit me last night. Just need more sleep, honestly. I'm just putting on my jewelry for the day. I'm going to unpack my suitcase, put on my outfit for the day, and then I have a ton going on today, so I'm excited to be vlogging for you guys. I really love how motivated I am to specifically vlog. It's definitely a whole thing, but I'm just like really motivated to create content on YouTube and um, connect with my community. I respond to pretty much all the comments on my YouTube channel because I just think it's so incredibly kind i don't know what it is about specifically youtube like when someone takes the time to watch like a 20 to 30 minute video of mine and then decides to leave a really encouraging sweet comment i just really feel like it's a connection i know you can't have like a full connection with someone through a comment online but like i really do feel like i connect with you guys more on youtube which i've said before but like i really you know when i'm tired and I don't feel like being on camera or, you know, I don't feel like vlogging. Like I really feel motivated to get up and vlog and create and connect with you guys. So thank you guys for making this a space that I get really excited about and I get really excited to create on here. But anyways, I'm going to unpack my suitcase and then I actually have an apartment viewing. I decided financially, it actually makes a lot more sense for me to get an apartment then continue to stay in hotels. I've spent on hotels so far to stay in LA for work way more money than I would spend on rent. It's crazy for me to think about having another place a little bit, which I've talked about with you guys on here, but it is a little bit crazy for me to think about having another place because obviously Tommy and I have our place in Florida, I have my house in Connecticut, and then adding to LA. But like I said before, it's really just a home base for work. I'm gonna leave a few things there. Simple, just literally like someplace that I'm coming in and out of for work. And it's more cost effective for the business. So I'm gonna start looking at apartments. Like I said in my last vlog, I was really stressed before about the idea of trying to make LA feel like home because I have lived here before and I really didn't love it. I also was in a very different place in my life with no real purpose in LA, but it did really stress me out thinking about like having to furnish and make another place feel like home. I'm like, how am I going to make three places feel like home? There's just no way for me to do that. And I realized that I don't have to do that. I don't have to make it feel like home. like a face frame sort of situation. I have some highlights in and then we're gonna do low lights now, which is like the darker, more brunette looking vibe. And then we're gonna tone it. What else are we gonna do? I don't know what else. <laughs> okay, we got some food from Goop Kitchen. I'm really excited about it. 
I've heard really good things about this takeout, but I've never gotten it before. Okay, I got this Asian chicken salad, and then I got a salmon bowl, because I couldn't decide. They both look really, really good. This smells so good. guys i just got back hey guys <laughs> i wanted like a really strong money piece next to like a light brown my hair is brunette but it lifts really easily which is super nice because i can maintain this hairstyle and it will stay much healthier anyways i'm going to wash my face and get ready for bed it's so early it's like seven but i've been on the craziest worst sleep schedule i'm really looking forward to going to bed super early tonight good morning vlog so i'm about to run out to another apartment viewing this spot is very different than the townhouse that i showed yesterday and i honestly really want your guys opinions on this please like let me know in the comments what you guys think about this so i'm gonna bring you guys with me to the apartment viewing so you'll get like more of an idea what i'm talking about so I'm kind of torn. Obviously, like, getting another apartment in general is still a crazy thought to me, but I just have to do it just for a few years until the business is in a place that, like, I'm really confident with. It's so important for me and my brand for me to be here and be really involved in as much as I possibly can. I've hired an amazing team, and I've hired someone to help me with more of the business side of things but that being said it's so important for me to continue to be really involved with dairy boy which means that i have to get a place here but anyways regardless of all that i'm also torn about what sort of place i want here this is where i'm torn part of me wants an apartment that is super my taste my style wooden beams character charm with wood that feels very homey that's very me like my house in connecticut is very me and my style but then part of me is like should i just get a apartment in a more modern building with a doorman the place i can park my car um that i can kind of come in and out of like it's a hotel room but it's not um this building that i'm going to look at today i've actually known a few people who have lived in this building and they've absolutely loved it it's kind of like a full service building it's kind of like a hotel but it's apartments but it's modern it's very modern you'll see but it's very safe it's in a great location. It's close to where Tommy would train for tennis. I said this before, but Tommy can actually train here more than he can in Connecticut. So um, when Tommy can stay here, it's like closer to his training. It's very central. It's very safe. It would be very easy. I wouldn't have to like furnish it like crazy, but it's modern. And I'm just kind of torn. Some of you might know what our office looks like that we're moving into in a week or so. It's this beautiful big space with these huge windows and we're making the office very like my style we're doing a lot of wood a lot of antiques it's gonna be very dairy boy vibes so i'm like okay well if the office is really my taste and like does it matter if my apartment is just like clean and modern and it's very nice but it's just not like my sort of like I wouldn't buy the apartment you know it's not like 100 percent my taste but that might make me feel less pressure to like make it feel like home and it might make me feel less pressured to like have to furnish it like crazy like i'd probably just get like a bed and a couch and a rug and call it a day i could definitely still make it cute let me know what you guys think um or i would just love like your two cents on what you guys think also the people in my life are really torn about it too like no one's giving me like a 100% answer my mom's obviously saying for me to do a doorman building because she's a mom you know but uh i'm not sure what to do but we're gonna head there now i got my favorite tea from sun life the turmeric tea i'm gonna go run and see that apartment viewing and then we are heading today to our shoot location and i cannot wait to show you guys this house that we rented for the shoot it's just incredible but i need to go run we'll bring you guys along with me Okay guys, 
guys just got back from the showing that I went to. So we can do a little debrief on that apartment building in a second. The unit was really gorgeous, even though modern is not my style. I cannot deny that it was gorgeous. And the building's amenities were beyond. I actually couldn't film in the like gym and the like tennis courts and like all that because security reasons, which isn't a bad thing. I totally understand that, but let's do like a full debrief. I ordered lunch. We can chat about the apartment. I just have a quick call. I just have a quick interview right now with a very, very cool publication. I never know if I can share like who I'm talking to with the interviews. I'll ask my publicist and, and I need to pack up and we're gonna head out to San Yanez. I feel like that's not how you say it. Santa Inez. I was so wrong. I'm Santa Inez. Santa Inez. Santa Inez. I totally messed that up. Santa Inez. Okay, I have two minutes until my call. So I have a second to talk to you guys about the apartment that I just viewed. I'm thinking it could be um right for me i was kind of debriefing with my mom after i viewed the apartment and she was saying and i didn't tell her this worried about me getting the townhouse that i viewed yesterday and being like Paige, you're gonna try to make this feel like home like I, she knows me really well and obviously when you get like a townhouse style home style place you want to make it feel like home um, and i just feel like it's literally this place that i just looked at is literally a hotel that i can leave stuff at and the fact that there is like security and a doorman and i can keep my car there the amenities are really nice like, packages will be safe but so i'm thinking that i might move forward with that apartment that i just went and saw so we'll see i will keep you guys updated i would still love your opinion on it though so let me know what you think Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Wait, I was I was just saying to my vlog, I needed to ask you this. When I do interviews like this, am I allowed to share who I'm talking to, or is it like better to be a secret? Yeah, you can share the publication. Just I want to share the editor's name probably, but publication's fine. It's with business of fashion. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Hi vlog. Hi vlog. Well, your hair looks so good. I'm obsessed. Wait, thank you. You're so sweet. I love it. I love the, the darker. Yeah, I feel like it needed to happen. Hi. Hi. Okay, just got off my call. Sorry, there's no light in here, guys. It's really dark in LA right now because of all the rain. But I ordered the Goop Kitchen again. I got the salmon bowl and I got the chicken chopped salad again because it was so good yesterday. I just finished getting ready for the shoot today. I don't know how much I can show you, which is kind of annoying. I'm sorry about that, but I do want it to be exciting. We have a few products that we're shooting. I'm really excited. We're gonna do some outside, some inside. The house is so cute. And we have a model here. I'll show you guys as much as I can today. We just finished the shoot 
and it was a really long day but it went so well I'm literally so excited to show you guys the photos from the shoot I really wanted to introduce you guys to my team today I'm gonna post it on the Instagram on the way home a few people aren't here we're carpooling with Justin on the way back. So I'll introduce you guys to Justin, who has come on board the Dairy Boy team to help out. He's been amazing. And Moa, who you may have seen in a few videos here and there. She is just like the sweetest angel. And she's amazing and so creative. And she's on the marketing creative strategy team for Dairy Boy. That was a really unique role to hire for because there are so many amazing creative people, but the person that I hired in that position had to be so authentically dairy boy and like kind of already lived her life that way so it felt very organic for the brand and she is just perfect she's from sweden she's amazing she's sweet she's smart she's creative she draws she's just like the cutest sweetest most hardworking girl i'm very very grateful to have her i'll introduce you guys to her quickly maybe before we go and then like i'll do a proper intro you, you guys should follow dairy boy on tiktok we have never been on TikTok, which is crazy, but we're gonna start, when we move into our new office, I'm gonna like really get involved in the TikTok and do like a lot of behind the scenes and we're just gonna like fully dive into the TikTok, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, Liv, Justin, and Moa, and the photographer, and the model were the only people here today from the team, but it was so fun. But anyways, before I introduce you guys to Justin, I'll give you guys like a little background. I've known Justin for many years and he owns a clothing brand called Elwood, which some of you guys might know. He also works a lot with Walmart and he just has a ton of experience in the industry. I basically hired him to help me run and scale the business and make really high quality products and just help me with the business side of things. I really do not have much experience besides what I've learned with the business side of things and hiring someone who has already done it really well with really high quality goods has been so helpful for my brand. And it's just really fun to work with other creative people. He's also just become like a close friend over the years. I am wearing this robe home because I'm literally so cozy in it. I literally just got it from Barefoot Dreams. We're actually sampling a robe right now. So I kind of want to be like testing all the robes. You just talking about you. Hello. Hello. Say hi. How are we? Are you camera shy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at it. You feel like that went well today? Mm-hmm. I thought that was great. Great first shoot as a team. Yeah. Good teamwork. Good, good camaraderie. Teamwork. We have a good team. Yeah, we do. We're lucky. Moa, come here. Bye, Katie. Bye. It was so nice to meet you. We'll be in touch. Yes. Thank you. Moa, come say hi to the vlog. Oh, but you're wearing all the- We love you, my sweet angel. You're like, oh, hi, 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 I can't see. <laughs> Good morning vlog. Guys, it is finally sunny in Los Angeles and thank God. But anyways, I just wanted to say hi to the vlog. I just got ready to head out to work and I'm gonna run some errands before I head out. But yeah, I think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog. I think I'm gonna finish it out before the weekend because I don't really know my weekend plan. I kinda need to decide what I'm doing because I don't think I'm going to go to the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm kind of torn, but I don't think I want to go. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Real Real first um, to go look for a new tote bag for traveling and for work. So I got this bag this summer, which is literally one of my favorite purses that I own. Bottega is definitely my favorite designer brand. My wallet is from them. I love how it's not branded and I love how it's leather and I love how it has gold detailing. I just love it. But of course, it is literally the most expensive by far. Like it's literally so expensive. It's out of control how expensive it is. So that's sickening, but love this, but it's not big enough for all of my stuff, especially my cameras. Like this is cute for not work. Um, I wish that this was bigger. I think they do have a bigger one, but like, I don't know. Guys, I'm gonna use this Air One bag today so I can transfer all of my stuff, hopefully, once I get a new bag. And if not, I'll just keep using this one until I find one that I like. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the real real now and look for a tote bag. <laughs>
Just got back home. I went to Erwan. Maybe I'll do a little haul for you guys. I got some soup. I got two different kinds of soup. I got a lentil soup and a chicken noodle soup. And then I got a dinner plate, which was like just full of veggies. I got oh, green beans, Brussels sprouts, and mac and cheese. Got a huge water. Their water is really, really good. I got some oranges, some shampoo and conditioner, a little baguette for my soup. And then the other kind of random thing that I got was this Wella skin food. I've, I've seen it on TikTok and I wanted to try it. But I'm gonna probably watch something and eat this food and or FaceTime Tommy. I had a really good day today and the whole trip to LA has been great. But I felt like today I felt the most like truly grateful for how blessed I am to be in the situation that I am creating and designing and working with so many amazing women who I would have not met if it wasn't for this experience and they've become good friends of mine and I just like adore them and this whole chapter of my life really working with a team I feel like and it's not been that long has really just um been really important for me i think it's really important for me with this job being social media um and it's affected me differently throughout my life you know like being on social media but this new chapter like really working with people and me depending on them and them depending on me and working in person and touching and feeling fabrics and collaborating in person has just been a really important experience for me and I'm just so grateful. I I don't know, like I say I'm grateful a lot, but I really felt like I needed this. I felt like it feels so fulfilling. I kind of can't believe that this is my life and that this is my brand and that I own it and that I get to create things that I love for people that I love, you know, for you guys to feel confident and good. And it's pretty incredible. And I'm just feeling extra grateful today. Um, so yeah. I have to say, I am feeling like a bit lonely staying in a hotel for so long, in LA specifically. Well, LA can feel very, very lonely because of how large it is and you have to drive everywhere. I just feel like very disconnected from like my friends and the people around me. Um, and obviously staying in a hotel room is not, you know, the best, especially because I'm alone. I do think that I won't feel as lonely. I'll obviously still be alone majority of the time when I'm here because Tommy travels so much for tennis and has to be in Florida for training. He'll be able to be in LA a little bit, but not a ton. You know, I'll still be like alone, but I think if I have my own place and maybe I'll, and just like being able to cook and it's like my own bed sheets and my own space, um, I think I'll feel better, you know? So yeah, I'm probably gonna sign off in this vlog now. Since I decided to not go to the Super Bowl. I have this weekend open, so I need to decide what I'm doing. I'm, I'm either going to fly to Dallas to see Tommy play last minute and then probably have to come back or I'm going to go to Connecticut and then I don't know guys. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I think it's going to depend a lot on if I get that apartment in LA. Also if Tommy's in the finals in Dallas, I'll probably definitely go to Dallas to see him. I'll keep you guys posted, but I love you guys. Mm -hmm.